Hello, my name is Randy Fairfield, and I'm an AVID site coordinator at Carmichael Middle School in Richland, Washington. I'm also a Google for Education certified trainer, as well as a Hapara certified champion trainer. And today I'd like to share with AVID site coordinators who are in schools that are one-to-one -one or are going one-to-one, -one, how they might consider using the combination of Hapara and Google Apps for Education to facilitate a school-wide eBinder initiative. I like to think of eBinders as either a supplement to or replacement of what students are getting out of traditional binders. And there are a lot of great reasons why teachers should consider switching over to an eBinder or why a school should consider going school wide with an eBinder strategy. I think probably the main reason is that in the world students are going into, and in the world that I live in now, I don't keep a traditional binder anymore but I do have a lot of files that I've got to sort through and organize online. And this is a 21st century skill that our students will need in order to be successful in a 21st century economy. The ability to be able to store and organize files in a digital manner uh, without getting lost. Now if you're in a school district that's using Google Apps for Education, it's very easy for you to replicate what you're getting out of your traditional file cabinet digitally on Google Drive. You simply log into your district Google account, click on the apps launcher, I call it the waffle, and go to Google Drive. And once you're inside of your drive, you can click the new button here and create a new folder for your class and then upload all of your files to that class. And particularly if you're switching to a Google uh, environment where you want your Microsoft Word files to be Google Docs, it might be a good idea to go over to the settings and there click on settings and switch it over here when it says convert uploads. So it'll convert your uploaded Microsoft files to Google files and then hit done. And then now that you're in your folder, you can do a file upload and upload all of the files for your class. And I imagine you have quite a bit more than the few that I'm demonstrating right now. Uh, upload those up to your Google Drive. And you can see all of these files are now automatically converting over to Google Docs. Now, if your school is using Hapara, one of the things that Hapara has already done for you is create a folder in your Google Drive for each of your classes. And it has also created a folder in your students' Google Drives for each of their classes as well. And when you click on Dashboard in Hapara, you can see inside the folder for your class all of the files that your student has inside of that folder. If your student happens to put files outside of that folder, you can click on the Sharing tab and have access to all of their other files that might be elsewhere. Having all of your students have their assignments created and stored inside of Google Drive is really, really awesome because when you go to Dashboard, you can open up their files and take a look at what they've done. And this can't happen in a traditional binder where the student has taken the binder home and you don't have access. But this, is, this gives you any time access into your student's eBinder and the student can put things inside of their eBinder that they simply could not put in a traditional binder as well. For example, this student just started working on an art portfolio that they've created inside of Google Drive using Google Sites. And the teacher can then open up this rubric and access it and give Philip feedback anytime by highlighting uh, over the text that he has and then clicking comments and leaving a com him a comment about his work. Since the changes that happen in Google Docs, Slides, and Sheets happen in real time, students' eBinders become alive, and teachers can jump into these files from Dashboard in Hapara and see the changes and the work that students are doing in real time and give them feedback in real time. And this idea of making learning visible, uh, and particularly of giving effective feedback to students, has been shown by the research over and over to be one of the most impactful strategies 
that teachers can have when working with students and moving the bar on student achievement. So how can teachers make digital copies of the files that are in their digital file cabinet on Google Drive and push them out to students' e-binders? Well, using the Smart Share feature on the top right corner here of Hapara, teachers can do that with up to five files at one time. You simply click on Smart Share and then go to Google Drive and select the file that you want to make a copy of. Once that file has been selected, especially if it's a Google file, you have some options that you'll want to consider. This option here to make a copy will give the students each their own digital copy of this file that they can edit uh, and, be, and it becomes their own. And so once the file has been selected and the permissions have been set, the teacher can choose to push this file out to everyone in the class, to a specific students, or to small groups that they've set up. And if there's multiple classes here, I've only got the one in this account, the teacher can push this file out to multiple classes at one time as well. And once the teacher then hits OK, it will take this file here, and now it's working to make copies of it to put in each one of these students' folders. And again, what's really, really neat about this is once I click on Dashboard as a teacher, I can then see the copies of that folder. Now this takes a little bit of time, but I'll tell you, it's a lot faster than standing in front of a jammed copy machine in the workplace or waiting for one of your coworkers to finish making their copies while uh, you're in a rush. So you can see here right now it's processing the jobs and now it's complete. And look right there across the top, uh, there's a copy of that file in each of these students' folders. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you found it to be a valuable resource. Best of luck to you as you and your school look to go with e-binders in either your classroom or school-wide. Take care.